Look at this positive energy. Whoa. CPR. CPR. Yo, what's going on, my friends? Good morning, gamesters. We are back for day two of WCAA Live. And you know what that means. We're about to change lives for the second day in a row. We hit them with those damn smoke. We got a big day ahead of us. Today, what I want to focus on, highlighting the clients' lives who are absolutely being totally mind blown, changed the freak that I just say, we're gonna try and get, <laughs> get capturing the client's stories. Those people whose lives have been changed through this process show, honestly, that they are the hero. So are you ready to go in? Three, two, one, let's go! Give the shit. Literally, we're gonna give the shit to them. To show them that we care. Several bad puns later. We all see you, we all hear you, acknowledge you, honor you. The, the level of heart and gift that you give to everybody here is unmeasurable. The impact that you're doing is not just a nice name, it's an impact. You're living it. This is your mission. You're breathing it. I want you to acknowledge it. Really see how amazing you are. This Welcome back. We had the big influencers yesterday. We got some influencers today. What I really want to focus on for today's vlog is oh shit. Why have I even hosted this event to begin with? Why are we even freaking here? Oh, by the way, this is Hector. Hector Gonzalez. So the reason why I ever became a coach is because I realized that life is about helping people. So when I decided that I was going to become a coach, I struggled to figure out how to make this work financially. And guess what? I'm not the only one that struggles with it. Okay. <sighs> Breathing. Okay. Okay. What was the next thing? So today, who we're gonna connect with is coaches because I want more of the world to see amazing coaches that are so good, that are on a mission to serve. Because if the world saw more coaches like that, then we'd have more people get coached. And if more people get coached, then the world's a better freaking place. Oh my gosh, Johnny Bravo dance. Man. With that being said, why don't we go meet some people in three, two, one, boom! So we out here with Gary Ramos. Gary and Ramos, Holy Gary. Crap, you're stepping on my Holy shoes. My Steve Madden, what are you doing here? Go, go, go. So Gary, we're curious. Why did you right, become right, a coach? Right. Got done playing baseball, and I'm like, what? Well, I don't gotta be fit anymore. And then I was getting a little chunky. And I was like, I don't need to. It's being a little chunky. No chunky gonna happen for no. long. So I started healthy. I'm feeling pretty good. But then. I'm just seeing health issues. Like my dad was getting sick. My mom was getting sick. It's getting real. It's about to get real. My dad actually got so sick. It kind of took it to a place where he was so just unhealthy that it took his off. At that point, I was like, you know what, man? This is not a game anymore. Why couldn't I save his life? Instead of taking that entire thing and the entire weight on myself, I said, you know what? It would be a disservice to him if I don't help other people. I want to start with my family. And I know that there's many other people, especially within that Hispanic culture, like, come on. Come healthy on, Puerto guys. Ricans in I Healthy Puerto, Puerto Ricans. 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 I want to make it. We don't want to be fat Puerto Ricans, right? Healthy, fit, buck Puerto Ricans is on the rise, everybody. Thank you, Gary. And we out. Next one coming now. Yo, we back with Courtney Tucker. Oh my God, in the building. We're curious. Why did you become a coach? I became a coach so I could change some lives on my own terms so I could have freedom, fulfillment, and reach as many people as possible. All the gains. Are you ready for the next one? I don't know if you are. Hey, and we back with Steph and oh shit. <laughs> so Steph. I became a coach because I'm here to change women's lives. I felt completely alone. Hello. Be myself up, consistently told myself that I'm not good enough. And so when I realized I do have everything to offer, that I am good enough, then I was like, I need to share this with ladies. And I need to teach them how to build their bodies with love instead of building their bodies based off of shame, fear, hate, judgment. 
Damn! She dropping bombs on a bomb, 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 bomb. Holy shit! Next one! Oh shit! Oh, we got another one, friends. Are you ready? Basile! Basile! I became a coach because I of just helping a few people. I want to change millions! I asked my angels, my guardians, I asked the universe to connect me with the right people to change the world. And here is Sterling, the man. Here is Hector, the Man, come on, babe. Challenge me to come here because now I'm hungry to be successful to help so many people like never before. Look at these guys. Like, how can you not be effed up? Look at this positive energy. CPR, CPR, not to And here we got big ass Austin. I appreciate you guys asking me to impact, to impact more people on a deep level so they can impact their clients. This man right here, not only is his dance moves amazing, but he has helped me go much deeper than just strategy. Now I'm an impact man. That is why I coach. And next. Yeah, 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 Look, here's the deal. I became a coach because I wanted to change my own life and in return inspire others to do the same. So if you want to be a coach, ask yourself, what do you need to do to show up to be the best version of yourself? So in return, you can allow others to be inspired, moved, and touched by your living and breathing example. That's why I became a coach. Are you going to be a coach? Shit, he dropped the bomb of the challenge on him. Are you ready for that? We strike Gavin out of here. We don't give an F about it. That's a wrap. That was Dope. Here's why people are a coach. Right quick, let's go check in with our squad as they do the group photo. Oh shit, they're already going. We go right from interviewing to group photoing. Holy shit, look at these people. One minute, 37 seconds later. One thing is that it's characteristic of all my WCA live events is that there's so many people in this world today that don't know how to dab. So I figure, once and for all, let's handle this one event at a time. Are you ready? Team, are you ready to learn how to dab? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. There are people that have dabbed like this. <laughs> I'm here to set the record straight. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. We're gonna dab right. Yeah. And at the end, we're gonna say you dab right. How's that sound to you? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the way that you dab right is you start with your left arm. Point it out. You then turn your left arm at a right angle. In towards you like you're karate chopping the air in front of you. At that moment, you are then gonna move your left arm over to your left side. Do you feel like you are sexy right now? Yeah. Because you are. After that, you are gonna move your nose into the crook of your elbow. Oh shit, it's starting to get complex. And at the same time, you're gonna take your right arm and move it at a diagonal angle to the right and slightly up. So on the count of three, you are gonna move your nose into your elbow. At the same time, your right arm goes up and to the right. Can you handle such complexity? Yeah. Three, two, one. You yeah. have right. You have officially graduated Dab University. And that, my friends, is how you dab. Once and for all, we set the record straight. That, my friends, is the vlog. Thank you so much for coming with me on the journey. It's been an honor to serve these coaches this weekend, growing their businesses, making a bigger impact, and having a hell of a good time. Do you feel? me people so thanks so much for watching I'll see you tomorrow gangsters peace and yeah.